Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Welcome to the fascinating tale of our universe. It stretches from the tiniest particles to the biggest galaxies and even includes space, time and life itself. But how did it all start? The origin of the universe is the beginning of everything we know. Throughout history, people have wondered about how the universe began. Many cultures have their own creation stories and scientists have come up with different theories. The most popular explanation is the Big Bang Theory. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe began as a hot and super tiny point, just a few millimeters wide, like a supercharged black hole. About 13.7 billion years ago, this tiny point exploded in a massive eruption, which we call the Big Bang. From this explosion, everything, matter, energy, space and time was created. After the Big Bang, the universe went through two major phases, the radiation era and the matter era. These phases make marked by important events that helped shape how the universe developed. First, there was a radiation era named for the surge of energy right after the Big Bang. This period includes several small stages called epochs which happened in the first few tens of thousands of years. The very first stage is called the Planck Epoch. During this time, there was no matter, only energy and the beginning of nature's four fundamental forces, which we call the superforce. At the end of this stage, gravity separated from the superforce. Next came the Grand Unification Epoch, where the three remaining forces of nature stayed together. This phase ended when one force, the strong nuclear, split away. Then we entered the inflationary epoch. Here the universe expanded rapidly, growing from the size of an atom to the size of a grapefruit in a split second. It was extremely hot and filled with particles like electrons and quarks. After that, the electroweak epoch happened, where the last two forces, electromagnetic and weak, finally separated. Next came the quark epoch. All the necessary ingredients for our universe were there, but it was still too hot and dense for particles to form. As things cooled down, we entered the hadron epoch, where quarks came together to form protons and neutrons. In the later stages of the radiation era, we had the lepton epoch, the nuclear epoch, here, protons and neutrons change significantly, coming together to form atomic nuclei, creating helium, the first chemical element in the universe. As the universe learned to create elements, we moved into the matter era. This era is all about the presence of matter and includes three important epochs that lasted billions of years, making up most of the universe's history up today. First was the atomic epoch. During this time, the universe cooled enough for electrons to attach to nuclei, a process we call recombination. This event made hydrogen the universe's second element alongside helium, scattering clouds of gas throughout space. Some of these gas clouds may have gathered together due to gravity forming clusters. During the galactic epoch, these clusters became the seeds of future galaxies. Inside those growing galaxies, stars begin to form, leading us to the current stage of the universe's evolution, the stellar epoch. The birth of a star set off a chain reaction, changing the universe as we know it. The intense heat within stars allows them to fuse helium and hydrogen together, creating almost all the other remaining elements in the universe. These elements 
then became the building blocks for planets moons life and everything we see around us this incredible network of everything exists because of many stages the universe has gone through even though we still have many questions about the origins of the universe it's only a matter of time before we uncover some answers so i think it's enough for today so thank you very much for listening and watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this video is useful for you so take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question query suggestion and even classes are required take care of yourself meanwhile see you in the next video goodbye